Welcome back, or thanks for tuning in. We're here for another week of our movement practice. Today, I have Dancer on the Mind, uh, the quad stretch yoga pose. We'll probably do a couple variations using that, and maybe some rocking into it. I'm not really sure exactly how we're going to get into it, or how far we're going to get into what we're covering, but always move within your abilities, practice safely, and bring water. Today we're going to use a little strap, or if you're familiar, you have a stick or a broomstick nearby, we'll use that to get started and warm up. So, let's go. So, starting down on our butts, you can take whatever position is comfortable. You can kneel, have your toes tucked, or flat feet, and we're just going to reach the stick forward if you're using a strap. <clears throat> We're just going to maintain tension, pulling it apart, and we're going to inhale, lifting the arms up. So I'm going to use the stick for a little rigidity, and I'm going to inhale the arms up. Shoulder blades are going to pull down, and I'm going to reach the stick behind my head and come down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, one more on the way up, I'm going to keep the stick elevated, I'm going to pull it over to my right side, opening the left side body, and here's where the stick or the strap comes in, I can let the bottom hand be heavy, and let it engage, pulling me open a little bit more, inhale through center, exhale other side, again I can hold here, I can let the bottom arm be kind of dead weight and reach to the top arm. Inhale up, exhale over. You can look towards the ceiling, inhaling up, exhaling over. Good, coming up to center, exhale, arms come down. So now what we'll do as we inhale, raising the stick up, I'm going to turn the wheel, coming to that side body, side bend stretch, over to the other side, and then I steer it down. Good. And we're going to reverse the direction, turning it up and over, coming down. And you can start to add a little cat-cow type of action in this. So as the stick comes forward, I'm going to round my back. And as I open, I'm going to lift my chest up and round as I come forward. Lift the chest up and round. And we'll reverse the direction. Feel free to pause at any spot along this way that feels good or needs a little extra attention. And we'll come to center, inhale up, exhale down. Good, we'll put that to the side, and we will swing our legs to the front, and we'll reach long through the legs, and fold forward. Inhaling, sitting up, I'm going to tuck the left foot inside the right thigh, and fold forward. Inhale up, I'm going to switch, so left leg long, right foot inside, and fold. And I'm going to switch my feet, and fold. So I'm going to inhale, tilt up, switch, and fold. Prowl chest at the top, chest comes forward, and maybe around at the bottom. Just a little switcheroo, and fold. Good. I'm going to plant the right foot and the left hand, and I'm going to tuck the bottom leg in and plant the knee. The windshield wiper into my low lunge and shift the hips forward. So options here, I can go flat foot, shifting the hips forward. 
And I'm gonna scoop the butt underneath and come back to center. I'm gonna plant the hand, sliding the left foot forward and long fold. Folding down. Switching sides, right leg long. Coming up left knee towards the ceiling. Right hand plants this time. Tuck and pull it back. Windshield wiper the bottom leg straight. And I'm going to shift forward again into that low lunge. Top of the foot if you want in the back. Hip scoop under and shift forward. Really concentrating on that back hip. If I don't tuck my hips underneath, I kind of cave in here. I'm not getting that stretch on the side. So, so again, if I'm here, I'm caved in, I'm just giving up. I let my butt pop out. I'm closing this gap down. So I wanna scoop my hips underneath, working on opening this. And then as I shift forward, I'm gonna try to maintain that scoop. Again, coming back, right hand plants, right leg slides along, forward fold. Coming up, I'm gonna switch. We'll do one more each side. So folding down, knee, windshield wipers up, left hand plants, pulling that knee back. Technical stand up if you're familiar with that. And then I'm gonna shift my hips forward. Scoop my hips underneath, and let's inhale the arms up, and we'll bring the elbows down. We'll send the fingertips behind us, thumbs facing the ceiling, and we'll lift the chest. Still squeezing my butt, scooting my hips forward. Coming back to center, planting the left hand, sliding through, knee opens, forward fold. Switching my legs, right leg long, left leg is bent. Inhale up, right hand plants, technical stand up to my knee, windshield wiper, hips come forward, scooting the butt underneath. We'll inhale the arms up, elbows down. Still actively scooting, and then I'll reach the fingertips behind me, try to open my arms really wide. Lifting the chest. Coming back to center, right hand plant sliding through, coming to that forward fold. And I'm gonna swing my right leg around for my side bent sit. Shin box, see a lot square. Shin, shin. Good, we're gonna swing that leg back, switching the feet. Now the left leg is bent to the side. And we'll just switch back and forth a few times. So for now, we're just getting started. I'm gonna use my rocking action. Switch to switch cheek to cheek. Taking the pressure off and putting the pressure on a little bit to loosen it up. And switch. And switch. Good. On this one, I'm just going to reach forward, come into my tabletop. And we'll work through our cat cow here. We're going to round the back, drop the belly. Let's do two more. Round the back. Drop the belly, lift the chest. Rounding the back. Dropping the belly. Rounding the back. Dropping the belly. Good. We're gonna come into a little balance here. We're gonna extend the left leg long. I'm gonna crawl the right arm forward. And I'm gonna lift the middle back and the lower spine. From here, the foot floats up. I'm gonna float the hand up. Now, instead of looking forward down the arm, I'm going to look down and inflate the spine towards the ceiling. Trying to be as flat as I can across. Pressing through. 
and we'll switch. Right leg long, left arm forward. I'm lifting through the spine, activating my core, floating the arm and legs up. Don't worry about reaching super high. Think more about making a straight line for now. Pressing into the floor. And we'll switch once more. So this time, instead of crawling the arms out, we're going to lift the hand and knee opposite sides and reach. Same thing. I'm going to lift through my spine, tucking my hip a little bit to stay level. And dropping down. Opposite side. So left hand, right knee lifts. I'm going to reach both evenly. Try to keep my hips squared towards the floor. Shoulders square, spine lifting up. And down. Sitting my hips to my heels, peeling up. Just letting the quads loosen up here. Good. Coming back to that tabletop. <clears throat> this time I'm going to reach the right arm towards the back as I lift my left foot straight up. Option to grab the foot. And we're going to kick up this time. This time we're going to add that bend to the back. I'm going to lift my chest forward, kicking into the hand, lifting the knee. Good. I'm still trying to remain square through the shoulders and hips to the best of my ability as I kick in. If your arm's not quite there, or your foot doesn't come up, then you can use your strap and we'll release. Do a cat around in the back. Coming back to neutral. Left arm's going to reach, right foot's gonna lift, finding that foot into the hand or using your strap. Again, trying to stay square to the floor, proud chest, lifting through the knee. And we'll release opposite side after a little cat. Coming back to that cow. Left foot reaches up, right hand reaches back. Kicking into the hand to pull the chest and shoulder. If you're feeling it, you can roll the hand to the inside of the foot. Thumb facing up, shoulder rolls up. And we'll switch. Adding the cat. Coming back. So again, I reach opposite hand to opposite foot. You go right to the outer edge. Thumb up this time. Or you can go thumb down like before. So bring awareness to your hips and shoulders. Trying to make square to the floor. Chest lifts. And down. Cat. Back to kneeling. From this kneeling position, we'll step up with the left foot. And we're going to lift the right. Good. And we'll step back to kneeling. Stepping up with the left foot. Or my, my left, your right if you're mirroring. And again, I'm going to lift that rear foot off. Step on the side. Just squeezing that back foot up and down. Stepping up and lift. Stepping back. Opposite side up and lift. And back down. So this time as we step up with the right foot, I'm gonna cross the body with the left arm, still tucking in that midsection, reaching back with the right arm. Shoulders rolling down away from the ear and the jaw. Coming back to front and stepping back. Left foot steps up, right arm crosses, left arm reaches. Good. Going back to the kneeling. As the right side steps up, 
going to reach back and down with the right arm but I can take hold of that left foot again I'm going to bring attention to my hips and my stomach as I twist if balancing becomes a challenge you can widen your base your front foot can move to the side Whoa. again the strap here could be useful stepping back and stepping up right hand crosses the body to the left leg left arm reaches back for that foot and I squeeze in and wring it out I'm putting tension through the hand into the thigh the thigh presses into the hand everything is working to keep me in place Good, coming back to center. Instead of going down to our knees, let's add a rock here. So from my lunge, my left foot's up, my right hand's gonna go down. I'm sliding through into my rock, switching cheeks. This time left hand plants, right knee is up. Stepping back to that lunge. I'm gonna keep turning, finding the foot. This is obviously not my strong side. And then come back to center. Again, I'm going to engage pulling through the leg, kicking into the hand. And we'll release coming back. Hand comes down, bottom leg slides forward, rocking back cheek to cheek. Coming up, technical stand up as I roll up. I'm going to reach through with my left arm, finding that foot. And now stack over my front leg and raising up, coming into that twist. Remembering to breathe. Okay, we'll release. Hand comes down, sliding through, switching cheeks. Pulling the knee back, I'm going to stay down, staying over the leg, finding that foot, and floating up. Again, like before, I can grab thumb down, pointing towards me, or I can open the shoulder, pointing the thumb away. And release, hand comes down, baseball slides, rock back, switch cheeks, coming up. As I swing through, staying low, cupping, finding the foot, and then lifting up into my twist. Again, you can play with that grip, thumb down, kind of pointing towards your butt, thumb away pointing towards your toes. Good, coming back to front, hand comes down, windshield wiper, we'll rock back. I'll come up into our bend sit, inhaling the arms up. Rocking back, chins, tucked spines round, reaching up, and one more. Inhale, reach up. Good, I'm gonna sway the knees to my left, side bent, sit. Back through center, rock back. Rock up, knees to my right. Inhaling up. And knees to the side. Let's do one more each direction. Sway. And sway. So, let's use our rocking to come up into our lunge. So my right leg's on top right now. I'm gonna reach it forward and I'm gonna rock back. I'm gonna return just like this. I'm gonna carry through and rock up to my lunge. So left leg's tucked, right leg reaches. 
windshield wiper. Let's scoot back for you guys. Good. Actually, take a look here. This might be best. So we're in our lunge. I'm going to shift forward to shift back. And I'll come up to stand. So I'm going to step back into my lunge. A windshield wiper. Option to use the hand. Slide and switch cheeks. So right leg is down. Using that momentum to rock forward. Windshield wiper. Up to stand. Lunge. Windshield wiper. Here's where the hand can come in. If you want, you can reach back. Or if you're there, you can melt and switch. We're going to use that to carry me up and back. Melt, switch, carry me up and back. Lunge, windshield wiper, switch cheeks, lunge and up. Good, now that we're standing, I'm going to reach the right hand to my side, shifting my weight into my left foot. I'm going to soften the left knee, bring the foot to the hand. Again, a strap can be useful here. I'm going to bring my left hand to my center, keeping everything in line for now as I soften and fold forward. Option to reach the left hand forward. Coming into our dancer pose. When I release, I'm going to release this right foot to the front. Coming into my lunge, windshield wiper, and switch. And stand back. Left side now. Waiting to the right foot. So I like to soften the knee, bending the left foot to the hand. Right hand to center, hinging forward, reaching long through the arm if you like, kicking into the hand. And again, as I release, I'm going to go forward, windshield wiper, and switch. Stepping back. So, let's try to tie it all together. We're going to rock forward, shift back and grab. Yeah. This will make sense, maybe. I'm going to step the right foot forward, left knee comes down. We're going to return right to this. So as I sway in, I'm going to rock back, right leg forward, windshield wiper. Now here, I'm going to drive back, get, catch the foot. And we'll shift forward. I'm going to lower and rock and switch. So left leg's forward this time. Rocking up, driving forward. As I rock back, I can slide foot to hand, soften the knee, and dancer. I'm going to lower myself, kind of like a pistol squat. Rock back and switch. Coming up in that figure four. Windshield wiper. I'm going to press off the front leg to come up. Foot to hand. Hinging forward. Releasing kind of like a pistol squat. Rocking back. Switching legs. Windshield wiper. Moonwalk back, put the hand, hinging forward. Get and release, pistol, switch, windshield wiper, driving forward, moonwalk back, put the hand, hinge forward, pistol. Whoa. We're rocking across the room here. Let's try to do it straight through. So it won't figure four. It'll be like a half squat rock up. 
So don't be uh don't be too worried about what it looks like. Have some fun. You topple over. You topple over. Let go if you're going down. Catch yourself and reset. It'll be what it is, and it'll be fun. Instead of rocking up into this figure four and windshield wipering, I'm gonna keep that heel to my butt and rock up right into that lunge. So from the side here, what we just did, figure four, windshield wiper. What I'm gonna try to do now is the leg, instead of being in an open butterfly, it's gonna be knee up. As it's knee up, I'm gonna chop and come forward into that lunge. Let's give that a shot for fun. Just that. So you can know what you're getting into before we stand up and add the dancer. So we'll stay low in like a nice lunge. I think that'll be that'll be a good move for the next couple minutes. Yeah. We'll do it like two each side and then we'll move on. So I'm gonna tuck the right foot, chop the left. And stay low. Rock back. Chop the right. Staying low. Boom. Knee up. So I'm rocking through the foot. Ball of the foot. Flat foot heel. Ball of the foot. Rock it through. And chop. Good. And you know what? Let's get crazy. From this low position, we'll grab the foot and we'll try to stand. Let's see what happens. This will be this will be entertaining. So, starting down in my bent sit position, I'm going to bend the right knee on my way up. I'm going to chop through the left. So here we go, rocking up. I'm into this lunge. Reaching back for the foot, and I come up to stand. Dancer, coming down, lunge, rocking back, right foot long, shifting forward. Here I'm finding the foot, I can grab my pants, I'm going to try to bend. Whoa. Not my best side. Shifting forward, whatever works for you, grab it at the top, coming down, rocking back, boom, on the way up, rock. So that's that. Let's try. Let's do two more each side for fun. Whatever you like. You can rock step and come back. You can rock and grab. Whatever is good for you is what we'll do. And it'll be fun. So don't worry about it. You know, I can, you know, I see my right side does not like to be the supporting leg like we saw earlier when I was doing the twist. Not great. But this is what brings practicing brings awareness to you so you can honestly evaluate where you're at and work on those things. You don't do it, you don't know. You think you're hot shit and you're not. So practice. Let's go to each side. Boom, boom. Release, down, rock, chop, finding the foot. Coming back, lunge, rocking through that foot. 
switching the chop, driving forward. Here's my foot shifting over my point of support, my base coming up. Take your time, whatever works for you. And then coming back down, lunge, rocking through the foot. One more each side. Find the foot. And we'll rock to our bent sit position. Coming to the front. Take a sip of water. have a little fun with a little rocking windmill quad stretch. So I'm going to roll back, coming to my right side, bending my left foot, bending my left leg, taking hold of my left foot, and I'm going to reach for that quad stretch. I'm going to think of this Kind of like stretching a rubber band here. As I release, I'm going to kick up to switch sides and take hold right foot to right hand. So again, I'm going to press the hip forward, right foot into right hand, stretching the, the rubber band. And then when I release, kick to switch. Top foot comes back. And let's iron it out. So as I stretch, windmill, foot to hand. Stretch, windmill, foot to hand. Stretch, windmill, foot to hand. Let's do two more because why not? So from here, this might be cool. Again, put the hand on coiling the spring and releasing the spring. Put the hand, coil the spring, compress it, release it. Since we're down here, let's roll to our backs, work a little bridge flow, spreading the shoulders wide across the mat, pressing into the floor, inhale, hips come up, arms come up, and down. So inhale, lift, exhale, down, inhale, lift, exhale, down. Let's add a little bit of a shrimp to it. And I'm gonna point across with my left arm. So as I bridge up, I'm gonna keep my right arm in. My left arm's gonna reach for one. On number two here, I'm gonna shoot my butt out underneath, hand comes in. Down. So up, reach, over, boom. You don't necessarily need to reach with the arm, but it just helps turn you onto that right shoulder. So left arm reaches onto my right shoulder, feet stay engaged, hips up and back, opposite side. So I'm pointing with my right arm, rolling onto my left shoulder and down. Now uh, right shoulder, hips and arm. One more. 
up, over, up, onto the shoulder, hips go out, hips come in. Let's alternate sides. And I will give you this. So as I come up, boom, this time I'm going to keep my hands towards my face, onto the left shoulder, hips out to the right, and back and down. Hips up, right shoulder engaged, hips to the left, up, over, and back, up, over, and back. One more each side, up, over, and back. Get back in the shot, up, over, and back, up, over, and back, up, over, and back. I'm going to wrap my right leg underneath, crossing the left over, coming into that twist. So right arm wraps the left leg. Inhaling up and coming into my twist, looking over that left shoulder. And just relax. And just for fun, because we're here, when I release, I go right hand down, right elbow, leg long. Quad stretched. Releasing the foot. Knees bend. Step and come up. Wrap and twist. And we'll come back. So face forward. Hand. Release the leg. Bend the knee. You want to keep the bottom leg out for a base, you want to stay on your forearm, that's fine. You can set the, leg, the bottom leg long, doesn't matter. If you're like, where did I come from? The less you change, the easier it is to return. So release, step, press, wrap. And we'll release both legs, switching sides, wrap and tuck. So this time my left leg's on the bottom. My right leg crosses over, left arm wraps, using my gable grip, loosening up that hip, good, and we'll come back to that quad stretch, so that top leg's going to release, finding the hand, pointing the knee down. Yeah, I can slide out. Bottom leg can go long. Slide up. Release the foot. Cross. Turn into the thigh. And we'll release. Coming to front, we can stack our shins, go butterfly, whatever's comfortable, cross it. Let's go one leg on top, what I'm working towards, paralleling my shins. And since we had a stick and strap earlier, let's bring it back. We'll inhale the arms up, exhale, shoulder blades come down, we'll hug the elbows in, press it away. Inhale, wave it up, exhale down, wave, one more. I'm going to release the stick, switch the feet, coming back, again wave, so I got my wrists involved, swaying down, elbows hug in, 
and press it away. Two more. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. And we'll release that to the side. Thank you for sticking it out, coming back this week. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.